Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new, welcome. My name is Kelly and today we are doing another story time video. So getting into the story, this had happened about four months into my career being an agent and I was super excited for this because this was one of the first luxury estates that I had shown a potential client um, with me representing them as their agent. So I was super excited. Um, my broker got a buyer lead for one of the luxury estates in our area. And so he forwarded their contact information to me. I called them, did a buyer consultation over the phone and a few text messages and phone calls later, we had scheduled a showing on the property that they were interested in. So um, setting up the showing, I had to call the listing agent and schedule an appointment because the property was occupied. So I called the listing agent who happened to be another agent within our office at the time. And um, we scheduled the showing like two days in advance. So fast forward, day of the showing, I go to the property and this was my first time showing, seeing the property myself um, in person. And this was also the first time I had met this client in person. Up until this point, we were just conversing over phone and by text. So we get to the property, I meet them at the front, um, I grab the keys, we go inside and one pro one protocol that I have um, made very solid in my routine anytime I'm showing a property is anytime I am about to go into a house, whether if it is supposed to be vacant or occupied, I announce myself as I'm opening the door. I say, hi, realtor, is anybody home? Just to make sure that if I am supposed to be walking into a property that is vacant, that the property is actually vacant. Um, and I, yeah, cause sometimes you walk into a property and um, the person who is occupying the property forgot there was a showing scheduled or there's somebody in the house that isn't supposed to be there, like a squatter or a homeless person. That's gonna be a story time for another day. But so um, I'm not sure if I had ingrained that protocol into my system when that happened because I was only four months into the business so I'm still kind of getting stuff down and so I'm not sure if I did that but anyways this house was so big that even if I did do that I don't even think it wouldn't have helped much because this house was like three or four thousand square feet big it was freaking huge it may have been actually bigger than that I forget but um bottom line this property was huge so we walk in um, and me being the agent, I'm leading the way. Um, and so we go into the first bedroom, which I believe was the master suite. Um, and the client is in the bathroom area checking things out. I'm in the middle of the bedroom and I hear this noise coming from the closet. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just hearing things. So anyways, um, they kind of come back into the room and they look at me and they're like, did you hear that? And I was like, yeah, I thought I was the only one that heard that. So I thought it was coming from the closet. So me leading the way, I open the closet door and there's an eight or nine month old baby in a bassinet in the closet. And just to kind of give you guys a visual of the situation, with the interior of the house. Um, the house was a little more dated. It wasn't in pristine condition. And the occupants were in the process of moving out. So there wasn't a lot of furniture in the house at all, just little stuff here and there. Um, so it, the house kind of didn't have like a very warm, welcome, happy, joyful vibe to it. Um, and so after that happened, I was completely at a loss of words. Little 19 year old me was not prepared to handle that moment. Um, <laughs> so anyways, um, I was completely at a loss of words. Um, the client was really tripped out. Yeah. Um, so anyways, we just continue on with the house, me leading the way. 
um, the next door that I open. And at this point, um, every single door that I open, I'm knocking on it and I'm like, hello, is anybody home? Because I have no clue if there's anybody else in the house and this is a big freaking house. <laughs> so huh. um, the next door that I opened, there was like a seven or eight year old little girl in there. And so I said, hi, my name's Kelly. Um, I'm a real estate agent. I have a client of mine that's scheduled a viewing on your home. And I asked her, I said, um, is there, are there any adults home? Like whoever is supposed to be watching you, like, where are they? Um, is there anybody else in the house? And she was like, no, there's nobody else home. My mom said she would be back in 20 or 30 minutes. And I said, okay, I told her, we're only gonna be here for a few minutes just to look at the house and then we're gonna leave and I'll let you know when we're leaving and I'll lock the door behind me. And so um, we tour through the rest of the house and uh, the buyer had had like, like the buyer was super tripped out by this. Um, so we ended up leaving. And so the client leaves, I go back into the house and I tell the little girl, I said, okay, we're leaving. I'll make sure I lock the door behind me. And so right after this showing had ended, I mean, the showing didn't last very long, like maybe 15 minutes max. Um, immediately after the showing, I had like 15 or 30 minutes to get to the other side of town and hand keys to a buyer of mine because we had just closed escrow earlier that day. So I get to the property, I think I'm like 10 minutes early. So I'm sitting in the house about to hand keys to my client that should be arriving any minute. And my broker calls me and he was like, hey, how did the showing go? And I was like, uh, it went okay. I didn't say much. And then he asked me again, he was like, was there anything unusual that you saw or anything that was different or off? And like, I instantly knew, I was like, I don't know how he knows what happened, but he knows. Like, I don't know how he knows, but I'm just gonna tell him because he knows something. And so I told him what happened and he was like, okay, because it was either him, my broker, or the listing agent who was another agent within our office at the time had gotten a phone call from the local police station because someone had called in and told them that there was um, two children left unattended and one being definitely under a year old in a house by themselves. And I'm assuming it was the client because there was nobody else around other than us, me and them. Um, so, and as I'm talking to him on the phone, um, I forget who had divulged this information, but the occupant of the property was also a local medical professional. And that just completely tripped me out. I was like, what the heck? So <laughs> anyways, the client did end up purchasing that property, property long story short. And um, yeah, so that is the showing from hell. 19 year old me was definitely not prepared for what I saw. I literally was in like shock. I had no clue how to react, how to handle it. But um, I think for the resources that I had available at the time and the knowledge that I had, I think I navigated, navigated through it pretty well. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to share that crazy little story with you guys. I hope you found it to be entertaining. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.